We're in chapter three now. We're gonna learn about numbers six to nine. This is lesson 3.1 and we're gonna model and count six. In this lesson, we use a 10 frame. We show six as one more than five and we show it in different ways. Here we have a five frame and it's full. There are five counters. Here we have a 10 frame and we can show and count six objects by showing one more than five on the 10 frame. Here we have five and one more. A 10 frame is like two five frames put together. Five and one more makes six. Here we have some trees and we have a 10 frame. We can use counters on each tree to help us count them. We have one, two, three, four, five, six trees. And we can put the counters into the 10 frame. We have one, two, three, four, five, and one more makes six. There are six trees. When we fill the top row of the 10 frame, we have five. We put one counter down here in the bottom row, there are six trees. We can trace the number six with our right hand. That would be this hand like this. We start at the top and we go all the way around, back up to the dotted line and in. Let's try it again. We start at the top, we go all the way around like this, and at the dotted line we come in. We can do it with our left hand. We start at the top, we come all the way around to the dotted line and in. We can do it again, start at the top, come all the way around, and then at the dotted line, we come in. It's the number six. Here we have some turtles. We can count the turtles with our counters. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. There are six turtles. We can move them to our 10 frame. One, two, three, four, five. Notice that the top row of the 10 frame is full now that we have five. We put one more in the bottom row, we have six. We can write the number six, come down and around, and at the dotted line we come in. Six, six turtles. There's different ways to make six. Using pink and purple counters, we could just use all pink ones. Then we'd have six pink ones and zero purple ones. We can make six with five pink ones and one purple one. That's a five and a one. We can use four pink ones and two purple ones. That's a four and a two. We could use three pink and three purple. That's a three and a three. That's a doubles. We can do two pink and four purple. That's two and four. We can do one pink and five purple. That's a one and a five. Or we could do zero pink. We have no pink. There's none. We have all purple. We have six purple. That's zero and six. Do you see the pattern of what's happening here? This is counting down six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. And this one is counting up zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. See the pattern? So if we had six counters and one was pink and the rest were purple, we would know that five must be purple. If we have six counters and 
four are pink, then we know that two must be the other, other color, and if the other color is purple, then that means the two are purple. There's many different ways to make a six. So we can show and count six objects by showing one more than five on a 10 frame. And the 10 frame is just like two five frames put together. We put a counter on each object to count them. We can move them to the 10 frame. And when we fill the top row, we have five and we put one more counter in the bottom row. That'll make six. I hope you have a wonderful day. In our next lesson, 3.2, we're going to count and write the number six and the word six. I hope you'll join me. Bye.